Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Listen, so now we know what's going on uh, with um, Princess Catherine, with King Charles, a little bit about William's attitude. We maybe, if you can believe what you read, uh, know that Harry didn't find out about it until everybody else did in the news, and um, and that there's apparently there's no communication between the two brothers, and certainly I'm going to guess not uh, Meghan Markle and everybody else. So it all seems really stupid and petty. And uh, why wouldn't have someone picked up a phone and called Harry? right away and it just doesn't seem right people say oh because their security is going to leak things listen this is family so that's what we're going to talk about so you will see how it comes out i hope you like the video if you like the video please like the video and if you haven't subscribed you know please subscribe and thank you very much for watching so we're going to get this thing started um, so it just seems to me really, you know, the, the, the royals, aren't they supposed to be better than everybody else? I mean, aren't they operating under the uh, authority of God? So how does this seem? It seems like it's all gotten away from, from that, that it's now just about uh, I'm special, you're not, and, uh, and that's the authority I have. And uh, I'm thin-skinned and hold grudges. And, uh, and you decide who I'm talking about, whether it's the uh, Sussex side, or the Wales side, or the King side. But whoever side it is, it just seems like somebody needs to step in and say, Hey, we're a family. Why don't we act like that? And that's not it's like it's happening at all, or it seems like it's even going to happen. And uh, King Charles' idea of slimming down the, uh, the working royals in order to... Um, in order to trim down the monarchy that's not working out too well is it i mean so he's cut people off cut people back they don't work anymore they're not official royals or working royals whatever they call it and so now they don't have enough people to cover all the now that they have a major issue they don't have enough people to cover the events so but you know before we get into all of that let's take just a moment for you know meditation It seems like they're getting some opportunities here to fix things. Like here's some hints. Like okay, you know we should we should mend these uh, broken ways. No, they're just dug in uh, firmer. And unfortunately, you know I, I feel like uh, you know people don't change. Uh, if people could change, then they might be more godlike, mightn't they? So, um, what questions would we ask around this to begin with? Um, I, I want to know was there actually any behind the scenes communication with Harry about the health of his family just three cards for that simple okay did Harry get any kind of back you know any communication that we don't know about about the health of his family three cards for that first card so this is the king of pentacles king of pentacles so is this the king himself uh pentacles are of value death and a bundle to carry it seems obvious to me that this is king charles okay and uh, this is the end of his reign and this bundle that's hard to carry you know it's a ten of wands wands are actions plans forward movement this is ten it does show on here, if you look at it carefully, the, uh, just two of these actions have, have sprung uh, buds, uh, as far as uh, flowery buds, okay? And, um, and it's walking away from the castle, in fact. 
So I'm going to say this is Harry. That was my first instinct when it when I showed um, that this is Harry uh, carrying his bundle. I'm going to guess this is his kids, and maybe this little pink leaf here could be uh, Megan. But he's uh, really occupied, and it's hard uh, carrying that bundle away from the castle. So is this Harry's fault? Should he turn around and go to the castle? I don't know. Did he receive any? This doesn't tell me that he received any kind of communication. Let's do three more cards to see what that says. Did he actually receive any communication? The Emperor. Again, the King is in charge. The next card. The Four Pentacles. Holding on to your value. No, he didn't. And then the last card here is um, the Eight of Pentacles practicing your craft. Back to Harry. So no, the, the King has just reasserted himself as the Emperor. He is the the one who makes the decisions and he is very busy uh, greedily holding on to his value and he's not going to give up one uh, single scrap of it and uh, so this puts uh, Harry as he is in the position of practicing his craft getting his, his job right finding another way to make a living and it looks like he's 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 doing that you know he's got plenty of pentacles up on the wall he's perfecting his craft and so this is a split this is no there wasn't any communication in fact so the the Gossip rags, I guess, uh, are true. That, no, he found out a little with everyone else. Amazing. I mean, just amazing. How cold can a people be? Well, I mean, you had kings who were, you know, killing, uh, have, you know, having people that don't like his heads cut off in the past. So, um, so now we want to know, with that going on, is this really the preference of Catherine for this family to be so torn apart? Is this really her, you know, she full heartedly goes along with this um, or she just following the directives of King Charles and her husband, future King William. Is Catherine really in agreement with this kind of um, cold shoulder? Three cards, one, two, three. Catherine, is she really in agreement with this cold shoulder treatment? Or she just following what's going on? So the Four of Wands. Wands actually playing this forward movement. This is an interesting card. It doesn't seem to fit for the question because it's smallish celebrations, uh, usually pre preceding something greater in the in the back. So is Catherine really going along with this? Next card up is the Ten of Cups. So this is Happy Family. Oh, okay, now it's starting to be clear. Okay, this is Happy Family. This is the emotional uh, emotional well being. Or, and then the Knight of Wands is uh, the fighter for the actions. And I think this is still Catherine. So what is Catherine about? Well, she is uh, following the lead of the people above her. She's uh, celebra celebrating their small celebration of victory, I guess, over Harry and Meghan, they feel. Um, she is right there uh, portraying that happy family. Uh, and pl plus, that's what she wants. But yeah, that she's in on the movement to just follow blindly follow the monarch and um, she is herself a knight a fighter for the action and the plans of that uh, monarchy so yes yeah, she has fallen in line uh, with the monarchy but you know my question is is that that what she really wants herself okay let's do three more cards is that what she really wants herself first card queen of swords well she feels like she has to be you know the the queen of rules uh, justice rules of law so she's gonna do her job but this every the chariot is everything came on quickly and um, she and the secrets are going to be revealed so you know regardless of her stance this uh, ugliness is going to come out so i think it's a fool's uh, game that they're playing i've always said that catherine carries water for the monarchy. You know, whatever they say, she's the girl that says, you tell me how far you want me to go with this, and I'll deliver it. That's what I do. That's what I learned how to do. Um, so now uh, let's go to William. So William, is he, uh, again, so if this is all at the direction of the king, is this really, truly William's, uh, um, he's happy with this decision. I've got to tell you, I think that he is. I think him and the king are in unison on this, but let's see what the cards say about whether William is completely on board with the separation uh, of the uh, Sussexes 
from the royal family even now to every extent possible. It's a big action and he's got it in his hand. Uh, he is right there with the King of Pentacles. It's true that, that repeats. That's King Charles. And uh, again, but now things are coming on quickly. So again, it begs for three more cards. So is William really, let's say, still uh, happy with the situation the way it's, it's played out? Seven illusion and delusion. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, he's. This is fine. He's he's in the game of, of let's uh, manipulate this King of Cups. Whereas the King, his father. He is the king of value. He is the king of emotion. His emotions are raw. He's sitting right in the middle of a pool of emotion. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's uh, buried in it. And the last card here is a five of pentacles. And that has to be Megan and Harry uh, out in the cold. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's fine with it. His brother betrayed him, betrayed his father, betrayed the monarchy, did the same thing his their mother did, I think in William's eyes, he's looking at Harry as a, as a usurper, an upsetter, and not uh, going along with the program. And, uh, and so he's out, and he's out, and he's out. And I think William will do probably whatever he has to, to not bother to include him, if not even actively disclude him from, from everything. So, um, and let's see if that's going to happen. So, is... Um, is, is the king determined to make sure that Harry is just excluded from almost everything? Two cards. One, two. And, uh, oh yeah, he's the king. And it's a fool's journey. He's, that's the journey that they're on and that's the journey that they're gonna stay on. Yeah, he's determined that this uh, Harry stays separate. And that's the king. So now about William. It's William also determined of his own mind that the Sussex remained uh, excommunicated. Or, um, and two cards for William in that same regard. Is he just following the king? Or, so the page of pentacles, very little value. You know, you get the page of the knight, the queen, and the king as far as uh, members in that royal circle. And the page has only the smallest amount of value to bring to this, and this is William's contribution. He's got to say, but it's, it's a suggestion, and the king makes the decisions, and then the king of wands. He just remains the one making those actions uh, happen, waiting until he is, in fact, the king. Yeah, and um, I think that's all I want to ask. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it right there. That's all we're gonna ask about this. If you have something more, tell me, you know, make a comment, and I'll read on that. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, a uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good. Um, Suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination and then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore Eugene Smith, so I, I like the book The cards. I mean everything about this works. You can you've got a little ribbon that you pull the book out and then it double does double duty to help get the cards out And let me show you those now if I understand correctly the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you run across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot and I like them a lot.